Hey there, everyone. Avra here with EdTech Teacher. I have a question for you. How many tabs do you have open in your Google Chrome browser right now? Do you ever have so many tabs open that it almost gets overwhelming? Do you often have multiple slideshows or Google Docs or spreadsheets open and you have so many that you can't even see the file names anymore? Well, what we're going to do in this video is take a look at a couple of strategies to be able to organize your tabs. Now, I'm not talking about closing them. I'm not talking about using a, an extension like one tab to close them all. Those are all possibilities. And definitely, if you have too many open, it can slow down your, your browser and your computer. But there might be times when we want to have groups of tabs open so that that way we don't forget to do what we need to do. My tabs almost act like a to-do list for me at times. So if you're in the same boat, let's get started. Okay, take a look at this browser. What do you think? Is it giving you a little bit of anxiety? It does the same for me. So I jokingly call this being tabalicious, right? But that's actually just a really nice way of saying that sometimes my tabs get really disorganized. So the very first strategy that I use when I need to stop and kind of take a breath is I like to actually take them and physically drag them around and put like tabs together. So here's all my Canva files that I kind of have open. And then I have a bunch of YouTube stuff because I'm working on um, a YouTube video creation project. And then I also have some tabs over here for when I'm doing some workshops. So what I like to do is kind of make them grouped together. And then I create an actual group utilizing the function here in Google Chrome. So what I'm going to do is hold down shift on my keyboard and I'm going to select these four Canva tabs. And then on top of one of them, I'm going to right click and choose add tabs to a new group. And the first time I do this, it just gives me a chance here to give it a title. And then I can also color it if I'd like. OK, so there's my Canva group. And then let's say I want to do my video creation stuff over here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight these different YouTube windows as well as my spreadsheet. And again, add tabs to a new group. And now it's going to prompt me to either add it to that Canva group or to create a new group. So I'll go ahead and choose new group, call it videos. And then I'll even go over here and highlight these three, right click, add tabs to a new group, make another new group and call this one Newzella for my Newzella workshop that I am doing. So now I have these nice titles in here and they also serve as a way to kind of compress the group and make it so we can't see the tabs anymore. So check it out. If I click on videos, and click on this word Canva and click here on Newzella. Now what I have are these wonderful kind of collapsed groups of tabs. So when it's time for me to go back in and start working on my Canva stuff, I can click on Canva and it's like a toggle switch. Open it or close it. Same thing with the videos. Open it or close it. So when I'm in here then I can come on in and go in and work on any one of these um, projects and then I can close it up. And so that's kind of like taking a deep breath and cleaning out my tabs, which is awesome. So you can have multiple of these if you want. Sometimes I'll have five or six going at one time. So lastly, the third strategy I want to show you is this one right here. Do you see this little bell emoji? What I like to do sometimes is put an emoji before the file name in a Google Doc or a Google Spreadsheet or a Google Slideshow, like in this case. And what it does is if I come in here and I kind of expand all these again and say I do have a whole bunch going at one time, OK, then it makes it difficult to even see the file name sometimes. But when I can see that emoji right there, I can recognize that file. Just helps me remember which slideshow that is because, hey, that one has a bell and maybe another one has an apple and so on and so forth. So these are just a few of the strategies that I use to manage my tabs in Google Chrome. What am I missing? What do you do that I haven't shown today? I sure hope you'll reach out. I'm at Avra Rachel on Twitter and Avra at edtechteacher.com org is my email address. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.